Let's see how to design YouTube thumbnail using Figma. So this is the thumbnail that we are going to design. For this we have to take a frame of 1280 by 720 and that is the standard uh, YouTube thumbnail size 1280 by 720. Now we will create a frame, change the width to 1280 and height to 720. Here it is. Now change the name of your frame. Now using the shortcut T, you can access the text tool and change your size of font to 84 pixels. I have kept this font size for my title that is 84 pixels. How to design a YouTube thumbnail using Figma. We will add some contrast in the title. We will hi highlight YouTube thumbnail and Figma. We will keep them in bold way and reduce the weight of the other words. Now we'll add a description of one or two lines. Depends on uh, how much description you want to give. We'll keep the font weight for description of around 36 pixels. Now we'll add a 3D icon of Figma. For that go to Figma community where you can find a lot of valuable resources like this uh, there are many figma 3d icons choose any one of them and open it duplicate it in, in your figma and you can access the resources from there now we have picked up this uh, particular 3d icon select the frame and then paste it in so that it is pasted inside that frame now using the shortcut k we can access the scale tool so this is how you can scale it in figma very easily now in your thumbnail design, your title has to be most prominent along with one icon or photograph that describes it. We'll take another icon of YouTube from the Drawkit library from Figma community again. We'll make all the required changes, connect YouTube thumbnail color to the icon color. Now you can add your profile icon with your name in it this is how I use my name in the signature font on all my social media it's important to keep a consistent visual language across all your social media profiles because it gets easy for the people who are looking at your profile to actually recognize you across those platforms you can add a one line description about you or about your role. We'll make some more changes so that our layout is better. And finally your thumbnail design is complete. Now select your frame and mark it for export. We'll mark it in 1x PNG format. Export it and save it wherever you want and it's ready for you to use. So what do you think? Was it easy to design a YouTube thumbnail using Figma? Stay tuned and subscribe my channel for more such videos. I'll be sharing more videos on how to use Figma apart from just UI design because Figma is a very valuable tool and quite easy to use as well. See you soon in the next video.